Welcome to the High Efficacy Lighting for Residential Applications Overview video, where we'll explain the evolution of the residential high efficacy lighting requirements in the Building Energy Efficiency Standards, or the Energy Code. California's 2019 Energy Code took effect on January 1, 2020, and requires that all lighting in new homes be high efficacy. In this video, we'll give you an overview of what qualifies as high efficacy lighting according to the Energy Code, we'll tell you how these lighting requirements came to be, and we'll share how the high efficacy standards support California's decarbonization goals. Let's start with an overview. High efficacy lighting products deliver more lumens per watt than traditional light sources. High efficacy requirements in the Energy Code also ensure that lighting products used in California homes provide high quality lighting, especially when it comes to dimming, rated life, and color quality. As we mentioned, the Energy Code requires that all indoor and outdoor lighting be high efficacy for residences. Some light sources qualify automatically, while others have to be certified as compliant with the high efficacy requirements, which are included in Reference Joint Appendix JA8. To understand why we have these high efficacy requirements, let's look at how and why the Energy Code evolved. In 1975, the Department of Housing and Community Development adopted rudimentary energy conservation standards under their State Housing Law Authority. These evolved into the first generation of the Building Energy Efficiency Standards, which were adopted in 1976. Since then, these standards, which include energy efficiency, water efficiency, and indoor air quality requirements, have been updated to include requirements for new technologies, as well as to simplify existing requirements and revise language as needed. Today, many types of energy efficient, high quality, and cost-effective light sources are readily available for residential use. The Energy Code ensures that California homes are illuminated with these products. The high efficacy standards are also important for California's decarbonization goals. California is making strong efforts to address climate change. Lighting accounts for approximately 22% of the total electricity use in California homes. Using less energy can reduce carbon emissions, which contribute to climate change. The state's energy code and appliance efficiency regulations, along with utility programs that promote efficiency, are an important way to reduce this energy use. High efficacy lighting helps make California's decarbonization goals easier to achieve. California's ambitious energy and climate goals include the Global Warming Solutions Act, or AB 32. This bill calls for a minimum of 80% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2050, compared to 1990 levels. In addition, SB 350, the Clean Energy and Pollution Reduction Act, calls for greenhouse gas reduction of 40% by 2030, also compared to 1990 levels. The Energy Code works to make these goals a reality. They also enhance and simplify earlier requirements while laying the foundation for improvements in future code cycles. By following the residential high efficacy lighting and other Energy Code requirements, California should avoid the need to build additional generation facilities while saving its residents billions of dollars in energy costs over the next 30 years. Let's conclude with a review. The Residential Energy Code requires all indoor and outdoor lighting to be high efficacy, which addresses lighting product efficacy, dimming, 
rated life, and color quality. The Energy Code continues to evolve, so the use of the most efficient, readily available, cost-effective design strategies and lighting products are required. And lighting requirements in the Energy Code help California meet its long-term decarbonization goals. For more information on high-efficacy lighting for residential applications, please visit the California Energy Commission's website at www.energy.ca.gov forward slash ORC or follow them on social media.